episode. Uh, glad to have you guys back. This is the gas tank that I pulled out, the fuel tank. As you can see, uh, I went ahead and sanded it down a bit. Got it uh, media blasted as well. This coating on here is actually super strong, so I, I didn't feel like I needed to go all the way down to bare metal, especially since I'm using a really, really strong primer and uh, putting finish paint over that. So this will just go black, uh, just like everything else is going right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with lacquer thinner, hit it with a, a scuff pad really quick, and uh, get going on that. But let me show you what else I've got going on. So I've started doing black on other panels as well. Um, you guys can see the inspection lids here. I've got the bottoms done. I have to flip the hinges on these because um, I spray them this way, you know, and then I flip the hinges, spray them that way. So that's gotta be done. All these hinges I flipped over as well. Um, with these ones, I could have run them on a wire or a string and sprayed them that way, but I have so much spraying going on, I didn't want to worry about it. And uh, this setup is taken right now, the hood on it. I sprayed this um, two days ago or yesterday. So it's dry, it, you know, it's sitting on the, the foam pad, so that's no big deal. Um, I'm gonna spray the cowl line again. I just did one quick coat last time. Didn't, didn't look too bad, but I wanna redo that, make it look a little bit better. So the plan, get that primered, get the rest of this black done. <clears throat> I'll show you guys what happened with the body. So it was my first time spraying this um, Nason full thing. This is what I'm using for my single stage black. I don't know if it was this, the settings of my gun or what I did wrong here, but it turned out really texturized, really bad. So I've, I've started going through, started sanding this all back down, getting it smooth. I'm gonna respray it again. Um, I'm trying to get used to this paint. I bought a new spray gun, uh, a couple new filters and stuff, try to clean it up, get it done better. Um, so when I sprayed the black on these panels here, I, Went ahead and just did a test side. I redid this side, sanded it down. Got it uh, really pretty good, actually. Um, you know, there's some dust on here, but I don't know how well you can tell on camera. The only problem was I sprayed it too thick right here in this jam. And let's see if we can find them right here. There's a couple runs that I got right through here. As well, so uh, I'm gonna go back sand these again, but they're nice and smooth, nice and glossy. They feel great. They look really good, except for a couple runs. So that's my fault. This uh, this product's much thinner of a paint. It's spray. It's it's more watery. It's not as thick as the other primers and base coats and everything. So a bit of a learning curve with it, trying to figure out how to how to apply it best. But looking. 10 times better than the other side. So I'm confident the third time around, it'll be looking beautiful. So let's get working on that gas tank. I just went ahead and sprayed the first quicker coat. It was more of a medium coat, really, just to get the paint on there. Uh, it didn't cover completely. There's still a lot of spots I need to go back and get. Uh, I just want to do one lighter coat, get it to stick really well, and come back and do another coat, about the same thickness, probably. But you can still see the metal behind this layer. It's not very thick, but uh, it'll, uh, Make a nice surface where the next layer will grab on tight and stick really well. Uh, I need this to be strong, obviously, because if any fuel leaks out of any of the fittings or anything, I don't want it to destroy the paint and have a rust issue later on down the road. Uh, you guys probably saw in the video this uh, funny little contraption here. 
Um, funny enough, this uh, air compressor does have a filter on it, but you'd never really know. Um, I had to add another separator here. It's a water oil separator. So what happens is when the air gets compressed in, in the compressor and it comes through the lines, some of the water from the atmosphere, from, from the air, and some of the oil from the machine itself can come through these lines, which is really bad for painting. These are like little silica beads that grab moisture as well. This one I put on yesterday, brand new, and it's already maxed out as well. I'm gonna try and figure out a new filter setup. This is a bit over the top. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is this pressure gauge. This is uh, this is coming handy a lot. My old gun, just sitting right here, didn't have that. This is great. I would totally, totally recommend buying this. Um, stepping up to a better quality gun. Even I know some people are probably laughing. This is Harbor Freight, so it's about as cheap as you can get, really, unless you go to like Alibaba or something weird. But anyway, filter setup. Um, I mean, this is capturing water still, and as you you know, from the color change, these are as well. I'm just not sure why it's so um, humid. I guess it's it's not even humid. I live in the desert. Having that pressure regulator made this a lot easier. Getting this dialed in. So I'm hoping the third time I'll have a uh, good success with that. Okay, I'm working on painting the rear brake calipers. Um, I've just got regular VHT caliper paint, you know, high temperature, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, really good paint, I'm hoping. Um, I haven't used this stuff before, but it seems like everyone's got really great reviews about it. I wiped these down, lacquer thinner. <laughs> I just started going ahead and masking off all the little bits I don't want to paint. You know, these sills. Sorry, film the right thing. Uh, the brake line going back, you know, uh, this spring in the back. I don't I don't care to paint any of this. Um, just the front of it right here is what's going to be visible. So I want to paint the back ones red and match the fronts when I buy them. Um, I still need to buy the front brakes and figure out the front steering rack and all of that. But I'll get going on what I've got, which is the rears. You guys seen these? Um, I'm going to spray those right now, but I just wanted to show you something else I've been working on as well. These are the pieces for the rear differential. So I sprayed them uh, one way and flipped them upside down so I can spray them the other way. Um, they look really good though. I went ahead and primered these with that uh, MRS-80, that really good primer I have, the really strong kind and just put another coat of uh, full thing, that 2K urethane I've been using. So I'll spray them one more time, give them one more coat, uh, but they're looking really good, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, this is the rear mustache bar that I got from Arizona Z Car, if you guys remember that. I went ahead and scuffed up the two ends of it, as well as the mustache bar itself. Scuffed it up with a Scotch-Brite pad, cleaned it really well with lacquer thinner, and sprayed three coats of clear over it. So I want to keep this billet aluminum look. I don't want the aluminum to degrade and corrode, uh, which bare aluminum does in, you know, in the elements. So clear coat. I'm hoping that won't chip or pill. We'll find out. If it does, I can always get this um, cleaned up and powder coated, or I could re-clear it in the future if I need to. It's, it's underneath the car, so it's not very visible, but I just love the look of it so much. I want to keep it as an accent color. So I'll have, you know, all the, all the black underneath, everything black pretty much. The silver mustache bar and the red calipers, I'm thinking will look pretty great. But let's get back to work. All right, these are looking really good. Uh, I just did a first quick coat over them. You can still see gray that or that silver peeking through a little bit. Uh, but I actually really like the look. Um, I'm going to do another thicker coat. I just wanted to get one on there just to get it to stick well. Um, I'll... Do another coat, flip these over, and finish them, and show you guys that. Well, I'm running out of daylight, uh, sun setting, so I will give you guys a better look at these maybe later. It depends on how this footage turns out, but I think you get a pretty good idea. Um, looks really good. I'll go ahead, do one more coat on these, and then unmask them, but I'm really happy with how they look. A lot of progress has been happening. Uh, I've started pulling off a lot of the things inside the engine bay that I just want to get rid of. There's a canister that goes right here with a bracket. Cut that out. Cut some of these 
um, little retaining clips uh, that hold the brake lines, electrical lines, that kind of stuff. Cleaning this up a bit, uh, since it's all going to be custom with the new engine, um, I don't think any of this is going to work. So I want to get this all cleaned up. Here's all the stuff I cut out. Uh, just brackets. This is the the hood that I the hood latch mechanism that I cut out. Uh, I went ahead and got the brackets off after I'd trimmed it. Just cleaning it up. So I'll have my welder come back through and fill these holes. Uh, get this all ready to go. As you know, this black is just the first like primer coat to get the color on there. So I don't care about scuffing it. I don't care about getting it messed up. You guys already know there are a lot of runs in it. And anyway, so that's all uh, going pretty well, getting worked on that. I'll show you what else I've been up to. One interesting thing with these control arms, if you take a look here, uh, you have just this boxed end on each side with this tube. That's what it's supposed to look like. On the driver's side, there's a little bit of damage here. I got a, let me see if I can show you sideways. So you see that big section missing. Um, I guess maybe the joint failed here. Somebody on the forums is saying that it's probably the mustache bar broke. So the previous owner, or one of the previous owners, just went ahead and welded it up uh, without putting a new, new material back in or even grinding it down or anything. I can actually see sunlight through this crack right here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's why I'm getting new control arms. I could buy just one stock one, uh, but these are old, heavy, crappy design. Um, the new stuff you ha they have available is quite expensive. I think a set of these is about $575. Um, so quite expensive, but they're a lot lighter, a lot stiffer, and a lot stronger. So I think that's the route I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and get this painted along with the back pieces. I don't want to film all that. I'll just show you when it's done. Wrapped up, wrapped up. Everything's all good on those. I'm getting a lot of work done today. I'm going to show you guys the progress I've made on the underside. You can see all of this is seam sealer. Uh, this is gonna keep all the water out. I had a lot of welding done in here, so there were, there were new seams they created. Plus from the media blasting, um, some of that old seam sealer had been uh, taken out. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the filming angles aren't very good, but hopefully uh, you guys get an idea. Just going through, waterproofing the underside, getting this all further along. I was gonna include a little bit more in this video, but I think it's getting a little bit long. It's probably gonna be about 15 minutes as is. Uh, I don't wanna take up too much of your time. I finished spraying the second coat on all of those parts. So the rear end's pretty close to being complete. I went ahead and ordered the rear control arms, the lower control arms here. Those will be shipping in very soon. Um, I have the CV shafts, the axle half shafts. I got the ends of them coming as well. So the rear end is very close. I just barely got the fuel tank straps shipped in today, the rubber isolators. So I can put the fuel tank in. I can put the differential in very soon, control arms very soon. Um, this is all coming together really, really soon, honestly. I'll start reassembling a lot pretty, pretty quickly once I get the rest of the parts in. Um, finish this lid, looks great. Just, you know, that gloss black. I mean, it's, you can see it's a little dust on it, but not, not beautiful, but it'll be hidden by the carpet. So good enough for me. I mean, it's, this isn't going to be a concourse vehicle. Um, other than that, I got the bumper delete plates, uh, shipped in the mail today. I went ahead and used etching primer on them and then did a, a layer of black as well. So I just need to flip them over and do the other side, but a lot of progress done. 
Uh, thanks for tuning in on this episode, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will see you very soon.